stay off the shoreline, heading eastbound, and we'll do a couple of steep turns. Okay, steep turns on this plane, I could do the power, or I don't need the You do your pre-maneuver checklist, extra rich, prop full. Okay. Like so. Okay. Looking for about 120 miles an hour. It is slippery. All right. Well, uh, we'll see what the uh, airport operator maybe can do something about that. 125. Thanks for all the information. Though. Have a good day. Throttle is necessary for about. Attention all aircraft to public airport information. Quebec is now current. 120 miles an hour. Hold east. Heading. Let's go ahead and roll the airplane into a steep turn to the left. Steep turn to the left. Yep, roll it into a steep turn to the left. And steep turn to the left. Up. And crossing 30 degrees, advance the power. Give it more power. Very nice. Hold 120 miles an hour. Keep turning, that's too shallow, a little steeper, steeper than that. There you go, that's too steep. That's too shallow. Let's try to keep it. It's not much visibility out there, kinda. Not that great, so maybe. You have to back it up. Okay, this is your coastline now, roll out. Looks like we got a little bit too close to the, uh, the shoreline because of the wind, so let's go crab a little bit more to the right. Add a little bit of throttle on the right there, it's going to get rid of that horn. Republic Tower King, Air 852 Bravo, Charlie is with you, RNF 1. There you go. Uh, King Air 852 Bravo, Charlie, Republic Tower, descent at your discretion. Runway 1, clear to land. All right, let's go back to the west. Let's clear the area to the, to the right. Let's go right. And uh, 2 Bravo, Charlie, I wanted to talk to you about um, go right. uh, freezing precipitation. Right turn to the west. Right turn. Uh, just, uh, we had to right turn to the west. Right before the last day, this, uh, it was unknown, and it changed over to freezing rain, and the only braking action I have uh, report is from a Baron that opted to land runway 32 for its length about five minutes ago. He said the braking action on runway 32 was fair to good. Um, after he was, after he taxied off the runway, he said the taxiways were slippery and that the rain uh, striking the windshield was freezing. Okay, we're, uh, it's been like plus three, plus four, and this liquid precip all the way down so far. We'll see what we get when we get on the ground. Okay, I think a, uh, there was a helicopter that I mentioned earlier. There was an inversion at 2000. Okay, we'll see what we get. All right, so uh, if you want the longer runway, it's also available to you. And uh, in any case, I'd like a breaking action report after you land. Yeah, no problem. We'll, we'll find on runway one and we've got the pretty good slowdown capability with this thing without the break. Was this a steep turn to the right or it was just like a little clearing turn to warm up? No, a it was trying to do a steep turn. You were trying to do a steep turn. Okay, cool. Right. It was bad, that bad? No, it was okay. I wasn't sure if you're doing a clearing turn, a 180 degree steep turn, or going a full 360. I was just observing. But it's okay. So it was bad. No, it wasn't bad. It was okay. I just wanted to know what was that all about. Okay, <laughs> so let's go back to this heading about 120. gonna try and do two in a row. Do one to the left followed by one to the right. When you're ready. Okay. You can do either choice. One to the right followed by one to the left or one to the left followed by one to the right. It's up to you. Okay, so let's see. Steep turns on this plane is a 30. You roll into uh, Actually, it's commercial is uh, 50 degrees. You're rolling to a 50 degrees, steep turn to the right, plus or minus five degrees. As you're crossing 30 degrees of bank, you gotta have to add power to maintain your airspeed, which is 120. And 
do the whole circle, 360. Pull up on that heading and do another 1360 to the other side. Clear 69 Victor Hotel, Republic Tower, runway 1, clear to land. Clear to land, right. Okay, I'm going to have, I also want to talk to you about uh, possible icing conditions, so uh, I'll get back to you on that, sir. Standing by. Shelter with Tower 2, Bravo Charlie. Go forward with you, Bravo Charlie. All right, uh, Lear, Niner Victor Hotel, uh, as I told the king here that just landed, he reports breaking action, fair to good on runway one. Uh, that's the same as a, a report I got from a baron uh, about 10 minutes ago, a landing runway 32. And uh, originally we had unknown precipitation at the field. Uh, it changed over to freezing rain. Uh, the baron, uh, after he landed 3-2, as he was taxiing, he said the taxiways were slippery and that the uh, rain striking the windshield was freezing. Uh, just to kind of do it down. Okay, if you want the longer runway, that's also available to you if, if you wish. Very bad, very bad. What was the original heading? 3-2. Affirmative. 120, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll take 3-2, we got the I'm just wondering, wondering. Just want to make sure. Alright, 9 of Victor Hotel, runway 32, clear to land, wind calm. You know, I'm surprised he said the uh, precipitation hitting the windshield is freezing and I'm not getting any of, uh, it could be a temperature inversion where the temperature up at 2,000 feet is higher than the temperature at sea level or at the field elevation or the airport, so that's why we're not getting any, uh, but we're going to constantly keep an eye on, uh, you know, the wings, uh, windshield, you know, for any um, hazard, you know, as far as precipitation, you know, freezing drizzle, freezing rain, freezing fog, freezing snow, whatever is going to freeze up, and then we may have to just get this thing on the ground. Okay, what do you think about that? Uh, not good, right? Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure, you know. You know, the practical test standards for steep turns for commercial pilot is plus or minus 100 feet on the altitude, plus or minus 5 degrees on the airspeed, excuse me, 5 degrees on the angle of bank, 10 knots on the airspeed, and the rollout on initial heading is plus or minus 10. We started at 120, so I think you rolled out at like 60 or like, I mean, I don't think you kept uh, yet situational awareness of what the... Uh, so what I recommend we do is actually do one visual. So let's make a 180 to the right, nice and shallow turn, clear the area, and go towards the coastline. Then when you see the coastline, you know it's time to roll out. So you have better, you can look outside more. I'm not expecting me with you, I'm not expecting for you to have anything, you know, spectacular because you haven't flown for three months. And, you know, this is a new equipment, you're getting your multi-engine rating, you know, so it's, it's uh, you know, it's... I'm not expecting too much, but look, we, we, we got to brush it up. We got to get, get into the game. We got to, you know, get some, uh, get some rust out. Okay, do you see the coastline now? Yeah. Okay, let's roll back to the left. And yeah, we're going to let's go about this heading. Clear 69 Victor Hotel, any left turn, and then right ground point six, and uh, breaking action. Right there. It was to the left. Yeah, we had a little bit of anti-skid cycling there. Okay, thanks, Lyle. Okay, when you're ready. Get yourself straightened up. It's always good to start a steep turn maneuver when you're right on your altitude, right on your heading, right on your speed. Much easier. And the last thing is trim. Trim the airplane for what you're doing. Let's go back left here and track the shoreline. This way, exactly. I don't want to get too close to 
Iceland. In Hato. What's that? Water Republic, 301 Charlie Victor. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Having a hard time getting. I think you're too. Too focused inside the cockpit. Try to look outside more and see the relationship to the airplane and the horizon. Two. Wind con altimeter three zero five one. Five one check point thirty two one Charlie Victor. Welcome. Beautiful, 120, 2,000 feet, right on your heading. Excellent. Okay. Are you ready? Give it another shot. Let's see how we do another steep turn here. We're going to roll out on the westerly heading. Do you see the shoreline? When you come back around on the turn and you see the shoreline on the right-hand side, it's time to roll out. Good today, sir, Republic Terror. Don't undershoot or overshoot, okay? Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, a lot of division of attention between outside with a quick glance on the instrument panel, you're making sure your altimeter is where you're supposed to be, your angle of bank is where it's supposed to be, and the airspeed is where it's supposed to be. And don't forget that bowl. you got to keep a coordinated flight. Step on the bowl, all right? All right. Okay. Steve, turn to the left. Let's do it. Did you lost over there? Almost, almost 300. Remember the practical test standards for commercial multi? Plus or minus 100. And I think the problem is insufficient back pressure on the yoke for the vertical component of the lift. As soon as you're rolling to a steep bank, you're losing that lift. And in order to compensate for that lift, we have to add back pressure on the yoke to get that nose back up there. Okay, one Charlie Victor, it's a jet taxi on the runway. Cookie, one Charlie Victor, quit the land, runway one. Quit the land, runway one, one Charlie Victor. the left. Let's do another one to the left, and as soon as you see that altimeter rolling down, get that back pressure up there, anticipate that loss of lift, and add that back pressure to get it back where it's supposed to. You gotta roll out of the bank a little bit and then add that back pressure. You want me to demonstrate one? Yeah, so okay, my controls, relax control. a little bit. Get that checklist back out there. I'm gonna clear the area to the right. A little bit of back trim. Holding 120 miles an hour, clearing the area. Good with you, thank you, man. Uh, 
going to do it on this heading right there, 240. And, you know, another part of the problem may be the imbalance on the power, you see? See how they're a little bit off? When you level those together on the throttle quadrant, it's not necessarily equal, so you got to adjust the power as necessary to make the manifold pressure. So keep that in your scan, too. Okay. Pretty clear. Going to do a steep turn to the left. We're going to roll the airplane into a steep turn to the left. As we're crossing 30 degrees, we're going to add power. We're going to look outside the horizon, put the aircraft nose right on the horizon. We're going to add back pressure as necessary to maintain nose on the horizon. We're going to keep an eye on the attitude indicator. We're going to make sure we're right on the bank we need to be at, which is about 50 degrees for commercial. A little bit too fast. I'm going to go ahead and throttle back a little bit. Hold my nose up there. Keep that turn going. Just like so. Look outside, right on the horizon. And about 30 degrees prior to our heading, we're going to roll the wings level and roll out right on the initial heading and throttle back as necessary to maintain 120. Don't want to go too fast. Just like so. Clear to the right, one to the right. We're going to roll the aircraft into a steep turn to the right, crossing 30 degrees. We're going to add power to maintain 120. Look outside the airplane, put the nose of the airplane right on the horizon. It's a visual maneuver. Maintain 50 degrees of bank. Hold my altitude, plus or minus 100 feet. Hold my airspeed, plus or minus 10 knots. Hold my angle of bank, plus or minus 5 degrees. And keep that turn going. Put the nose right on the horizon. Let a bit of updraft. Apply forward pressure on the yoke to get back down there. Put it right back in there. And on the throttle, roll out. And come right back. Ooh, bumpy. Put it right back on the initial altitude we started and heading. On 20, 2,000 feet. And heading of 230 or so. Have to reach trim as necessary. What do you think? Pretty much within standards, right? You know, a little bit of updraft, a little bit of, you know, correcting is necessary, but not too bad. You ready? Yep. When you're ready, your control, we'll do one more steep turn, and then we'll do some minimal control warrior speed. Your control? My control. You got it. Okay. We have the altitude, the heading. And going left. Roll to the left. 30 degrees power. Watch that nose now. Watch that nose, it's still coming down. Initially you lost some altitude, but you compensated for it, and you overshot yeah. on the rollout. You notice how you bypass, you bypass your initial heading by like 20, 30 degrees? You got to roll out plus or minus 10 to make it work really nice. All right, next maneuver we're going to do is minimum control wear speed. 
You want to do it first, slow flight? You want to do it first? You want me to demonstrate? Yeah. Okay. Slow flight. So What's a slow flight? Slow flight, as, as we can hear, it is slowing the aircraft down to the point of being right above stall speed. We're doing that to demonstrate what the airplane feels like when we're coming in for an approach and landing or taking off while we're going slow, okay? So we're going to throttle back 15 inches, just like so. Drop 4 RPM. We're going to put 10 degrees of flaps. Hold your altitude. 25, hold your altitude. And 40. Gonna drop the gear down. Gear is down and locked. Gonna trim as necessary. For level flight. And we're gonna fly this airplane slow. Just like so. Slow down a little more. Slow down just a touch more. Trim as necessary. Slow down a little more. Hold your nose up there. You want to reach the 80? 80 knots? Oh, you're looking for the bottom of the white arc. Okay. Which is as slow as the airplane can go. See how mushy? Look at the flight controls. See how the aircraft is behaving? That was, there's a stall one already. That's getting too slow. Yeah, but this is definitely slow flight right there. See? Yeah. We can do turns. Depends on what the examiner calls for. He says, give me a shallow turn to the right, shallow turn to the left. Whatever it takes to maneuver the aircraft during slow flight. But you can hear the stall horn. We are going slow. Go back to the left. You can do a descent in slow flight. To recover from slow flight, we're gonna add full throttle. 25 degrees of flaps. Gear up, retrim. Maintain our altitude. And retract the flaps all the way to zero. And when we reach 120 or so, this is the full recovery. close to uh, Class Bravo. I'm going to go back to the east and I'll let you demonstrate slow flight. slow flight and we're going to be heading back. Okay, 2000. Power back. 
Let's clear, it, uh, let's clear the area to the west and do it towards, towards that the westerly heading. Yeah, it's much better. Get that turn going all the way to the west. Did we start? 2000. Okay, let's call it 1800. Let's kind of maintain 1800. We don't have to go back up there. So let's maintain 1800 straight along the shoreline westbound at slow flight. We hold short instructions. Read back all runway assignments. Read back all out to assignments. Advise public challenge contact. Do you have information? Go back. Ceiling 2,400 overcast, temperature minus 1, dew point minus 3, altimeter 3051. GPS approach in East Land departing runway 1. IFR departures advise ground control of taxi that you are IFR. Read back all runway hold short instructions, read back all runway assignments, read back all out to the assignments. Advise public challenge contact, do you have information? Go back. Reporting freezing rain now in uh, Republic on the ATIS. Anything freezing up here? No, not here. Just kind of rolling on. How's your wings? Looks good. Clear out. Huh? Nothing sticking? Nope. Nope. My wing is clear too. Maybe this area here where we're at, there's a temperature inversion and uh, most likely. And it's uh, warmer temperatures. Alright. We drop a hundred feet. And lost a little bit of altitude, not too bad. Let's go ahead and descend to pattern altitude at slow flight. So hold slow flight, you can go ahead and get yourself towards the airport and descend to 1100 feet, which is the pattern altitude. And maintain slow flight, very nice. Actually, seeing the uh, horizontal stabilator from here, uh, it's also pretty nice and clear. Yeah, nothing sticking. I think we're above freezing here with a uh, temperature inversion. 
Nice. Keep descending. Let's try 500 feet per minute. Slow flight. Down to 1100. Show me how the controls feel. Yeah. Feel it? Very mushy, right? Look at this. Barely responding. This is slow flight. Excellent. When you reach pattern altitude, you can go ahead and recover the cruise. Try 500 feet per minute. Let's go ahead and recover the cruise, 1,100 feet. Full throttle, nice and slow. Flaps 25. Plan the gear up. And slowly flaps to zero. That nose back down, get that nose back down, look outside, maintain the horizon. Put the nose of the aircraft right on the horizon. Go and reach him. All right, we got Quebec. Seneca 40702, capture bridge with Quebec landing. With information, Quebec. Yeah, you good. Republic Tower, Seneca 40702, in information, Quebec, capture bridge, landing. Seneca 40702, Republic Tower. Report a one mile final for one. Runway uh, wind climb altimeter 3050. One mile final, runway one. One mile final, runway one, 702. Seneca 702, runway 32 is available too. I don't know if you want runway 32. Breaking action was reported fair by a Lear on runway 32. Breaking action reported good, uh, reported fair to good on runway one by a Baron and a King Air within the hour. 702 will take runway 32 and give you a report. 702, I'm going to take runway 32 and give you the report. Seneca 702, continue inbound for runway 32. Continue inbound 32. Continue inbound 32, 702. I loaded up your uh, extended center line. Just watch your altitude. You need to be at 1100, which is better altitude. And the straight in 32 is a little bit more to the right. Let's do a pre-landing checklist when you're ready. And you have the control for a minute? Yep, I got the control. I'm actually going to get, I'm gonna get the gear down because this is annoying while you do the checklist. And pre-maneuver, post-maneuver, descent, miss your reach, throttle set, approach, it is file instruments, two-way communication, come checklist. Report above 3000, come checklist, gas, fuel pump, on, everything on, mix your reach, and the carriage down, propeller full forward. And checklist complete. Okay. The light. Put all the lights. You ready to take it? And ready. Just a normal approach and landing. And don't worry about the brakes. I'll check the brakes. I'll give her a uh, uh, brake report. So your controls? My control. Runway 32. We are clear to land. Uh, verify that, please. Uh, 702. 702. Clear to land, runway 32. Clear to land. Clear to land, 702. Okay, she cleared us, we're good. I wanted to verify it, then looks like she was way ahead of me. Yeah. She's a good controller, I like her. Okay. Hand on the throttle in preparation for a go around. Always be ready for that go around. So remove your hand from the throttle. Very nice. Two reds, two whites, stabilized approach. Looking nice. Normal approach and landing. We don't fly with this plane, right? Yep. Just keep 
coming down. Beautiful. Slide right into the ground. Three greens. We're good. Throttle back. Beautiful landing. I'll worry about the brakes. Okay, you have the brakes. My brakes. You can tell a braking report is fair. Braking report is fair? Fair, yeah, fair. Seneca 702, braking report is fair. Seneca 702, thank you for the report. And uh, destination is it Echo? Echo. Echo. Seneca 702, taxi to Echo when able. Turn off the runway, taxi into Echo with me. Traffic not available. Echo with you, 702. Echo with you, 702. Your controls. My controls. Thanks. Back to the ramp. Follow the yellow line. And I'll do your after landing checklist. Landing checklist, flaps are up, lights are off, fuel pumps are off, pedal heat is off. And we still have a low fuel pressure on the right side. Right fuel pressure. Uh, the duct trim check by the first light of the day. Alright. And let's see that fuel pressure. I think it's the gauge is kind of fluctuating. Didn't see any uh, Issues with the uh, engine starving out of fuel, so it could be an indication problem. Uh, look at this flight as get out there and shave some rest, you know, just kind of get into the game. Y your next flight, just left here, follow the yellow line, your next flight's going to be much better because you kind of know what to expect. I mean, we did normal takeoff, we did the taxi procedures, we did uh, steep turns, we did slow flight, we did normal approach and landing. Normal takeoff. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, interesting conditions, you know, this morning with the freezing rain uh, and all. Good experience. Try to stay a little bit more to the right because that thing was like barely reaching. Okay, there right, you go, right there, perfect. I like that. Straight ahead to that orange box out there. Beautiful, right there. Excellent. Let's put the parking brake on and do the securing checklist. Parking brake, secure, radius off. Man, put this off, and this off, and this off. That's good. Thank you, that is good for now. It's all right. That off for you. Total adjust 1,000. Okay, 1,000 RPM on both. Make sure to cut them off. Okay, take both mixtures, cut them off. Magnetos off. Okay, take the mags off. One, two, three, four. Lights off. Uh, I can put that off. And alternator? Off. Off. What about master? Master switch off. Excellent. Do it again.